Hi everybody, just wanted to make another short video to give a little bit of an update and some more information on the story from Newfoundland that I've been discussing, which is the disappearance of 32-year-old Kristen Kane. Uh, if you saw my last video or saw any of the posts I put online, she was reported missing. Again, 32-year-old Kristen Kane was reported missing on December 6th, last heard from on December 9th still unaccounted for. Um, I criticized the RNC, the Royal Newfoundland, Newfoundland Constabulary, for their choice of photo. The photo they used of her, she had like kind of a cup in front of her face, a hat on, shadow on her face. It was a low resolution, like a low quality photo. She has her dog uh, sitting next to her. I criticized the photo initially, but what I've learned is that uh, Kristen is someone who is always with her dog. So I think a lot of people, like I've heard, I've heard from so many friends, people connected to her past co-workers and such, uh, said she'd never be without her dog. So if the dog is missing, then this is a bit, uh, then if the dog is missing, she may be somewhere with her dog. If the dog is, is accounted for and she's missing without her dog, it's a whole different story to those people. I've learned that initially her dog was missing as well. So maybe they shared that photo because they thought she was with her dog. Anyway, what I've since learned, thanks to a lot of people reaching out and giving me information about her that I've been sharing with our, the RNC, the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary, uh, is that um, her dog is accounted for. The dog is is with uh, in a safe place with like a friend of hers. What I've learned about Kristen is the, again, the original photos I shared, she looked healthy and vibrant, you know, like a regular healthy person. What I've learned is that a lot of these pictures that I shared in my last video are a couple years old and her life really changed over the last two years or so. What uh, I won't get into specifics, but personal circumstances led to her, she has two children, um, led to her two children being taken out of her care a couple years ago. And ever since then, it seemed like she's just been um, having a hard time in life. Um, it seems like it's a little bit of struggles related to mental health, but also a lot of struggles related to substance abuse. Um, as is the part of the course with when you when you're dealing with those kind of problems is uh, she became connected to a lot of dangerous people who are involved in crime, both violent crime, very violent crime, and the production and distribution and trafficking of drugs. So she's connected to a lot of dangerous people. Um, when she went missing, the uh, initially a lot of people were really concerned. But what I've what I've learned since is that um, that she is said to be alive and well, and is with people who are protecting her in some capacity from other bad people. So it seems like there's a lot of dark stuff going on in her life. Um, but according to the RNC, she's still a missing person that they're still looking for. Although that said, I called the RNC yesterday, asked to speak to the investigator to share information that was shared with me confidential, confidentially. Um, they haven't called me back, so I don't know how hard they're looking, but we'll see. Um, but as, as I talked about, the, the photos I shared were a couple years old and she was not looking great. Um, or, and she was looking healthy in those, but I was also sent some photos of her that were shot over the last, you know, six to eight months. And she looks like a whole different person. She's, um, very thin, like skin and bones is how I would describe it. Uh, it just looks frail and unhealthy. And when you look at those photos, my initial thought was, wow, she had a really difficult time over the last few years. People close to her had been very concerned for her for a while and i've heard from um again people close to her that are hoping that she's found soon she's safe and healthy and that this situation serves as the wake-up call um that hopefully will lead to kristen's um finding recovery and maintaining it on a long term um yeah, so basically I'm trying not to reveal t too much because uh, I want to share it specifically with the investigators and let them do what they'd like, but I want to keep you all updated. Um, but ultimately what I found in this story is um, the story of somebody that a lot of people care a lot about, 
that seems to have been dealt some tough hands over the last few years and they seem to really been beating down on her wearing down on her to the point that she by all accounts is is vulnerable and likely needs um, a bit of support from the people that want to find her and want to support her so if uh if you know Kristen kane um and you know where she is i suggest uh, talk to rnc or talk to her about contacting rnc and using this as a opportunity to get well and stay well if Kristen by chance watches this um and wants to talk i'd love to talk and if anyone uh and if anyone out there knows someone in your life who's struggling maybe you've lost track of them over the last few years and you know they're not doing great maybe this story is a a bit of a reminder to reach out and help people because it's it's not always easy for everybody so uh at this point 32 year old Kristen kane is still missing um speculation uh, well not speculation but credible reports that i got is that she is alive and well um is detoxing with in a safe place um and it seems that she has a reason to be out of the public eye and not found but i won't get into that but it involves dark crime related things um, that'll be for her and the RNC to talk about if, if it gets to that. So I'm going to end the video with, um, again, um, a few photos of Kristen. If you have any information about her disappearance, contact the RNC. I'll have their contact information in the video description. Thank you.